Hello there. What? What's up, my NSAFs? Oh, wait a minute. Those are Elijah's line. All right, Ma, you ready to film this? What? Are you filming without me? You were doing this without me? No. Okay. You traitors. What's up, my NSAFs? Welcome to my channel. So today, if you couldn't tell from the thumbnail, we have another box of treats. Woo! So if you didn't know, uh, treats is actually one of those snack boxes that you can subscribe to. And they're really cool because every month they'll send you a box load of snacks from different parts of the world. So if you'd like to sign up and try a box, you can actually use the coupon code NotSoAverageFanGirl and you'll get 15% off of your first box. Now, you might be wondering, why do I have my not so average mom here in this video? Well, actually, for those who don't know, I recently took a blood allergy test and I found out I'm actually allergic to a lot of different foods. Just to name a few, it's not a few. Peanuts, wheat, walnuts, sesame seeds, soy, cow's milk, egg whites, hazelnuts, almonds. It's a lot. So, uh, unfortunately, I can't really eat a lot of, of these snacks. So, I'm going to have my mom try them and rate them herself. If I'm feeling brave, I may try one or two if it only has a few of my allergens in there. We'll see. But for the most part, my mom's going to be doing the rating today. So, this is going to be fun. Are you excited to try some treats today? I'm very excited. <laughs> I can't wait. So, this box is filled with snacks from the Philippines. Now, what's really cool about these boxes is they always send a little like card about the country that the snacks are coming from, as well as some recipes and traditional meals that they have in the country, which I think is the coolest thing. And of course, my favorite thing, a whole list of all the items that you have in the box. Check this out. That is a lot of snacks. All right, Ma, so you have a handful of options here. Which one would you like to start with first? Uh, let's start with the cheese balls. The cheese balls, all right. Cheese balls by Regent. Uh, these bite-sized cheese balls are overloaded with cheese flavor. Uh, it says it's a popular snack in the country, so uh, we'll see if you rate it. Can't get it open. <laughs> you can't open it? No. We do this with all my muscles. <laughs> yeah, no, that's tough. There we go. I will bite it. No. <laughs> oh. It smells cheesy. This one. That's all right. Is it a good kind of cheese? Oh, they're nice. Okay. Drum roll. It tastes like a corn pop, like those corn pops um, cereal. Oh, like a Kix? But covered in cheese. <laughs> so cheesy Kix. Interesting. Okay, and how would you rate that? Uh, thumbs up, mid thumb, or thumbs down? Oh, you're eating a few, so. Oh, thumbs up. Can I eat these? I don't think so. Peas. Peas. Oh, it has, it contains milk. Wheat, eggs, and soy. That's literally everything I'm allergic to. Oh, and they do smell good. Ah, uh, sad face. Let's try the golden sweet corn. Golden I think we could. Corn. I think she can eat this one. Sweet corn. Oh, it's also by Regent. Or Regent. Regent. Maybe, maybe it's Regent. This lip smacking corn puff snack has always maintained its trademark taste of sweet corn. Shaped like cheese balls, Eat Bite will bring you the crunchy and delicious taste of corn on the cob. Oh, so it's supposed to taste like corn on the cob. It smells like sweet corn. Look at the ingredients. Hey, bean, let's smell. Oh, it does smell like sweet corn. <gasps> I think you can eat it. I think I can. Yay! Okay, well, you try first and then I'll try. Here we go. Yay! Cheers, no cheers. Okay. <laughs> What are we feeling? It tastes exactly like sweet corn. Holy crap, it's exactly. good. Mmm. It's literally like biting into like a corn on the cob. A corn on the cob. Just like it said. It wow. is very, very good. That's really good. I'll I give it a thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up. Nice. Let's try these wafer rolls. Ooh, wafer rolls, okay. Oh, this is our bonus item. So sometimes when you order a certain amount, they actually throw in some bonus items for you guys. So I think this is our bonus item. Indulge your taste buds with uh, baked classic rolled wafers. They are filled with chocolate cream, luxurious chocolate cream. How does it smell? It smells chocolatey. How are you feeling? How's it taste? It sounds crunchy. It's got a nice crunch to the wafer. <laughs> and I'm not a chocolate fan, but good oh wow that's a lot for her to say that because she is not a huge fan of chocolate so if it's good mm. thumbs up oh she's finishing it <gasps> can i eat that so far can so i eat thumbs it? up on that one oh, i can't wow. eat it how sweet and milk you can't yeah, eat it and unfortunately yeah. well not fortunately unfortunately but it's very very this good this is torture it's very very good 
not fair. Okay. They're all good so far, man. My last box, a lot of the stuff was weird. Okay. And now this one is actually good and I can't eat it anymore. Ooh, green mango butterscotch bar. I know. What? Different. Green mango butterscotch bar by Pinky's Goodies are scrumptious green mango flavored butterscotch. Oh, chewy in texture. Great snack for oh, any occasion. You can't eat this. It has wheat flour. No! <laughs> Why? Oh, wow. Uh oh. Ooh, she did the nose scrunch. The scrunch. I didn't care for the smell. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's weird. Um, good luck with that one. Now I don't feel so bad. But here we go. How are we feeling? Ooh, not good. Now, how, what are we gonna rate that one? Thumbs down! Ooh, I'm not even gonna try that one. No. It had an interesting smell, I will say. I have to eat one of these to get the taste out of my... Oh, snap, one of the sweet corns. Mm. Ooh, I could eat. That's a bummer. No go on the green mango. <laughs> no go on the green mango. Totally did that on purpose. <laughs> to be honest, I was really looking forward to it because it had mango, you know, butterscotch bar. I thought, oh my god, I like butterscotch. Mm -hmm. I love mango. Yep. But when you put it together in that mixture, uh, no. Dang, that was that was pretty deep, huh? Yeah. So sorry. Right. Jacobina biscuit by uh, by Noceda. <gasps> like loose Noceda. It's a brand by Noceda Bakery in Laguna, Philippines, founded by Paterno Noceda. Oh, where he set up a small bakery after World War II and produced a deliciously crispy and light biscuit, best enjoyed with milk or coffee. Oh, it's a biscuit. Ooh, oh. it's flaky. It's flaky. Oh, how cool. How's the smell? So it's. This is kind of like so it's like a biscuit. Yeah, okay. it's kind of falling apart and little. I don't think I can eat this one, but. How are we feeling? It tastes like like a dry cracker. Huh? <laughs> Hard to explain. Like a good dry it's cracker? It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. bad. Like a plain cracker. Okay. But it's falling apart in little flakes. And little squares. <laughs> so how do we feel um, about the little squares? Thumbs up. It was good. Okay. What is that? More crackers. <laughs> Skyflakes, the number one undisputed cracker brand in the Philippines. Skyflakes are known for their crispy taste and oven baked freshness. Hey, if it's garlic flavored, well, we do like garlic. I actually love garlic. Can I eat that? I don't think so either. I think it has wheat. No. Contains wheat. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Almost wait, and coconut. Almost everything contains sweet. So maybe this isn't the garlic flavor one. Because it looks like a different packaging. Yeah, this one says garlic. This one doesn't. Okay, so this is just kind of like a club cracker. Smell it. What do we got? We work with it. It smells like crackers. Yeah. Like saltine crackers. Whoa. Nice. All so, right. all right, let's see. Can you go wrong with that? I mean, I guess you could, but it's a cracker. Got it. <laughs> is it a good it's cracker? A cracker. You had two crackers back to back. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up? Or mid thumb? Thumbs it's up. also, I actually like the other one better. Oh, but more flavor? It's just this was more like a biscuit kind of cracker. Gotcha. And that one's like a real, just plain saltine cracker. Okay, fair enough. Hansel Mo Mocha Sandwich by Ribis Ribisco. Hansel Sandwich is the perfect biscuit sandwich treat for those who enjoy soft crunch biscuits. Its mocha taste combined with its distinct aroma creates a unique and delicious cookie sandwich. Smell like it smells like coffee a little bit. I don't like coffee. You can have that one. For those who don't know, I am not a coffee fan at all. I don't like the smell. I don't like the taste. I don't like any of it. I'm a hot chocolate girl. So, hi, Ollie. We have somebody under our... He's trying to grab any bits that fall. Under the... Uh, would you like a sweet corn puff, buddy? Looking. It's good. If you heard munching before my mom spoke, that was Bella. <laughs> it's very good, actually. Really? The coffee taste is not very strong. Okay. It's a very, very good balance. Would you I eat it again? I like it, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, well, there you have oh. it, folks. Thumbs up. Strawberry cake by Regent, again. Uh, Regent seems to be a very popular company, very popular. Um, strawberry cake is a delicious cake made from the high, from high grade ingredients and baked to perfection. Every bite gives an overload of exquisite taste of strawberry flavor. Nice. Ooh, it looks cool. Let me smell. Ooh, so I can smell the strawberry a little oh, bit. Oh, it smells a lot like strawberry. Can I have it? I don't think. <laughs> no. 
got eggs and wheat and soy and milk I'm and sorry. The bear. Ooh, look, it's very pink inside. Oh, wow, really pink. Oh. Is it good? It looks good. This tastes like an a strawberry angel cake. Oh, and I love strawberry angel. Where it's angel very cake. spongy. Um, not bad. Not bad. I give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I want to eat it. It's like right in my face. That's what she said. <laughs> We're down to two items. All right, all right. So we got prawn crackers. I think we've tried these before, but we've never tried them directly from the Philippines. So uh, they're one of the most popular treats in Asia and in the Philippines. It's likely a favorite of everyone who grew up in Asia or Asian snacks. These crackers are extra crispy and packed with seafood flavor as well as vitamin A. A little bit of nutrients. <gasps> Can I have these? No. Okay. This is a contains wheat, but you don't see it in the ingredients. Where? Are the oh yeah. <laughs> so, uh, well, I thought that maybe at least you could have corn, sweet corn puffs, and they were they're good. You're right. Ugh. Oh no. Oh, they just smell fishy. They smell very fishy. Like I don't mind them. Well, I'm very fishy. I'm not gonna say that. This is what they look like. <laughs> She's like hesitating. She's so buying her time right now. She just she went. <laughs> Be brave. Ooh, very crispy, crunchy sound. Very satisfying. Oh, it's very crispy. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's going but for it, another one. But it tastes very, very fishy. But you like it. I kind of feel mid them. Make them for that one. Ooh, make but, them. But she ate too. Love, I love the crunchiness of it. I just wish it was a different flavor. The crunchiness is what has me like eating it again. It's very, very crispy. So good texture. Yeah, that crunch sounds very satisfying. It's just that, you know what it reminds me a little bit? What? You know those uh, onion chips that used to come in uh, Funyuns? Green, no, not the Funyuns, the thin ones. Mmm. Yeah, they were they were thin and they were crispy like that. That's what it reminds me of. I don't know okay. the name of them, but that's what it reminds me of. I'm picturing it. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. But I actually like it. I just wish it was a different flavor. Not so fishy. But if you like, by all means, a fishy taste, you're going to love it. So, what? Said by not so average fan mom herself. <laughs> Last but not least, Drum Let's see here, adobo boy. Oh, it's adobo flavor? Oh, no, it says butter, butter flavor. flavor. Yeah, we got the butter flavor. Immensely savory corn nuts seasoned with garlic, salt, and chili pepper. Adobo, well, we don't got the adobo when we have the butter flavor, so I'm assuming it's flavored like butter. So they're just like... <laughs> it's kind of like a, just a little corn. Like corn, like corn nuts. Like corn nuts. Yeah. yeah. Can I have this one? It doesn't smell like anything. Contains milk. Never mind. I don't like this flavor. Yeah, I feel like the adobo flavor would have been better because it said garlic and chili and all that. Butter flavor sounds interesting. Um, it's sweet. Not a fan. Not a fan. Because I like corn nuts, but I like the fact that well, and we had these before. sweet and salty taste a little bit more on the salty. We've side. had these corn nuts before, but it was a different flavor, and those yeah. were really, really good. I think we have like a barbecue or something like that. Yeah. But, but this one, um, not feeling it. I don't like the buttery taste. Um, I think it's extremely sweet. Oh, my neck. So and it's not something that I was expecting. Thumbs down? Mita, because it's not bad. Some people yeah. may like it because it's very sweet, but. Okay. So I would say Mita. Okay, but well, did you have a favorite? I do, I do like the, the both of the corn pops. I think they're good. Those and, are your favorite? And this. Um, oh, the wafers, yeah. My oh. least favorite. Oh. That thing. Ooh. Whatever that thing is. But these wafers. She's gonna finish the whole pack. There she goes. And she's not a chocolate fan. I wanna bite. I can't, I must resist. Well, no, I can't. Don't do it to me. A really tiny, tiny. Don't do it. No! All right, well, that concludes our treat box from the Philippines. Um, these were very interesting and a pretty wide range, I think. I mean, there was a lot of cracker items, but all the flavors were pretty wide and range. You had strawberry, you had mocha, green mango, cheese, sweet, fishy, chocolate. I think your taste buds went for a bit of a ride, huh? It was all over the place. But thank you. I love getting this opportunity to try the treat. So thank you. Yeah, of course. Anytime. Um, Maybe now more so because I can't um, eat. <laughs> it was good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, 
I'll keep eating in the meantime. I'll let her keep talking. You do that. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. A special shout out again to Treats. Thank you so much for sending us a box. Uh, this was really fun. If you guys want to try a box of your own, go ahead and visit their website. Links are in the description. You can use the coupon code NotSavageFanGo and you'll get 15% off of your first box. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and check me out on my social media accounts. I post art and other cool stuff. If you want to gain early access to my full reactions, you can click the Patreon link down below. And if you'd like to become a member of this channel, there's a join link below as well. I think Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!